Well, it's good to be back with you as we continue our devotions based on Richard Foster's book, Celebration of Discipline. So far, we've talked about the inward disciplines of meditation, prayer, fasting, and study. We've talked about the outward disciplines of simplicity, solitude, submission, and service. And now the final four Sundays of our series, we'll be talking about the corporate disciplines. These are disciplines that we do together in the body of Christ. And we begin today with the discipline of confession. Now, confession is a corporate discipline. It's one that affects the whole church because when we sin, that sin not only impacts our relationship with God, but our relationships with other people. And in a sense, there's just always going to be a need for us in the church to say I'm sorry, to confess when we've done wrong, and also to extend and receive forgiveness. Our scriptures today from the prophet Isaiah and Paul's letter to the Romans both speak, first of all, of the need for confession because of the sinfulness of people. We start today with the Lord speaking through the prophet Isaiah in Isaiah chapter 59 and what is really a call to national repentance because of the sinfulness, the iniquity, and specifically the injustice and the dishonesty of the people. Listen to what Isaiah says. See the Lord's hand is not too short to save, nor his ear too dull to hear. Rather, your iniquities have been barriers between you and your God, and your sins have hidden his face from you so that he does not hear. For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity, and your lips have spoken lies. Your tongue mutters wickedness. No one brings suit justly. No one goes to law honestly. They rely on empty pleas. They speak lies, conceiving mischief and begetting iniquity. They hatch adder's eggs and weave the spider's web. Whoever eats their eggs dies, and a crushed egg hatches out a viper. Their webs cannot serve as clothing. They cannot cover themselves with what they make. Their works are works of iniquity, and deeds of violence are in their hands. Their feet run to evil, and they rush to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Desolation and destruction are in their highways. The way of peace they do not know, and there is no justice in their paths. Their roads have made, they have made crooked. No one who walks in them knows peace. Whew powerful words from Isaiah that we need to heed today. And then Paul, writing in Romans chapter 3, quoting from both Isaiah and from the book of Psalms, says this, As it is written, there is no one who is righteous, not even one. There is no one who has understanding. There is no one who seeks God. All have turned aside. Together they have become worthless. There is no one who shows kindness. There is not even one. Their throats are open graves. They use their tongues to deceive. The venom of vipers is under their lips. Their mouths are full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Ruin and misery are in their paths and the way of peace they have not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Well, both those passages tell us very starkly about how important it is for us both to acknowledge our sin and the types of sin that we are to avoid, which definitely include lying, dishonesty, and injustice, and a lack of kindness and compassion. I pray that as we go through this week in talking about confession, you will be able to find some of the release and the freedom that comes from confessing sin and getting the weight of it off your shoulders.